So I filmed an intro to this video before making the video and then I made the product research video and found two products within literally two minutes that have are what were they making like 40,000 plus a month with like less than 10 reviews from doing this one research method. I didn't even know this was gonna go well because none of my videos are pre-planned but I just started researching and literally this happens quite frequently of finding products like this and I wanted to really share these ways with you of how I do this product research so you can really implement it and try it out and you should have no problem finding a product so let's get into the good stuff okay this product research method has literally been my favorite one and I have been underutilizing it my whole life. So on the past like two to three weeks, I've been doing it nonstop and I have been finding handfuls and handfuls of products just by looking at one page and I really wanted to share it with you. So let's go. Hello, welcome back. It's me, Karina, again. I post a daily Amazon FBA videos. If you want to make money, click the subscribe button and the notification button. I want to do another product research video as I always do them at least once a week, sometimes two or three times a week because I do daily uploads and product research is important. But this is a very, very cool way and you can literally find so many products. So let me show you how I do it within my computer. So this is a very interesting way and I'm going to be using Helium 10 for this, their keyword research. If you want 50% off your first month or 10% off lifetime of Helium 10, I have a coupon code down below. I love them and I use them for a lot of things. So one of them is right here, which is magnet. It's basically like a keyword extractor. So you're able to put in any type of keyword and it's going to give you anything that's related to that keyword that that keyword may be ranking for. And people use this differently, right? What I would do is I could find out the main search word for this, for like the main keyword of the product, or just related keywords for PPC or listing optimization. But what many don't know is that this is a very helpful way to actually do product research. And you don't have to put in all those parameters and um, like price variations or what are they, like reviews. You just find a really cool search phrases and it's a really really good way to find related products in similar categories so there's two ways that you can go about doing this you can just put in a random broad generic keyword or a few keywords right and then you can search or you can just be doing your normal product research on Amazon and find a product and then use that keyword as the main one so let's for example show you the first way that I mentioned which is putting in random things so let's put in for example teacher supplies because that is so so broad and if you were actually launching a product you would never launch it as just teacher supplies because that doesn't make sense there could be a lot of things that could factor into that teaching supplies but when you do this you will notice that it's going to give you many many words along with their search volume and you can click into any of those main keywords and check the market for the entire thing and it's very very cool because a lot of the times you can be scrolling down and it's going to start with a very high search volume of like let's say a hundred thousand for teacher supplies probably and then as you go lower and lower it's going to go down in the search volume so let's um, search, organize it by search volume. So it's going to give you highest to lowest and see like pencil sharpener. It, it's very random. It seems random, but there's an algorithm behind it. So don't be concerned. This is quite accurate. So it gives you all these search volumes. And of course, you don't ever want to go for a product that is literally like 171,000 search volumes and also pencil sharpener. It's just crazy. You could see that to match the sales um, in a day, you would have to sell 1,656 units, which is just doesn't even make sense. Um, but you, what you want to do is continue going down the list to find other words that could be um, more specific and have a lower search volume, but the market is good. So you just literally want to go down. I don't even like these are kind of too high. And I like to look at this giveaway thing. And um, these are obviously quite high, but you'll notice that the more down you go, the more generic, I mean, not generic, the more specific the search terms actually get. Okay, so let's just actually go um, lower into like the 300, 200 range of um, giveaways. Um, so let, just um, scroll down, like pocket chart, for example, what is that? It has a much, much lower search volume and lower giveaways, and we won't know what it actually is until we click into it, right? So let's click into it. 
Like this is super random. You would have never thought to have come up with this, right? And then what you want to do is run the extension on it, whatever you use. This is Viral Launch. I also have a discount code for this down below. So you want to see, and that's how you find markets because you are finding these key terms. Then it's the main word. You're pulling it up. You're dropping the extension on literally the entire market and then you are seeing how well the market is doing and a lot of the times what's going to happen is you're going to find markets many markets actually with low reviews that are profitable that are words that you would have never guessed because they're just that random if you were to just randomly like think of it you couldn't and if you were doing product research and and doing the parameter where you, where you plug things in and look for categories it might have been difficult to find it so Let's see what the deal is here. And oh my gosh, another prime example. Look at this revenue and look at the price and look at the reviews. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, honestly, I'm just going to delete this video and not post it because this could potentially be a solid market. You're looking, and I was literally on here for two minutes, and this is exactly what I mean. Look at this monthly revenue right here. It is so, so stable. You have. I would 100% take this to the next step. You have the price. The price is very solid. The reviews are low, right? What I like to look for reviews is a few people that are in the double digits. And look, this guy with 26 is almost doing 5K, 18 reviews doing 15K, 38 reviews doing 6K, 10 reviews doing 8 and 7K. Like this is very, very legit. And everything else is in the low hundreds. So this could potentially be a very, very strong product. It's crazy, right? So and this is just the beginning, right? Well, that's exciting. Let's let's keep going, okay? Cubicle decor, that's not fun. We do not want cubicle decor. But hey, who knows? If I open that up, who knows what could be on cubicle decor section. So just keep going. I kind of like the numbers when they get around the 200, 300 CP, um, CPR giveaway just because it's a little bit um, like low level competition. You want to make sure that the words you find are not too broad. You actually want to make sure that you're going into a market that is very niche, right? You don't want to do something that has several search terms and different things. Like what's a prize wheel? Random things. Let's see the deal here. Again, I'm not saying go and launch these products because of course you have to do in-depth analysis. And in my Amazon FBA course, I teach how to validate the market, how to make sure you stand out, how to make sure that your profit, uh, that your product is actually successful. And you cannot gauge that just by looking at um, a screenshot. What you have to do is actually literally analyze several parts of the market and that goes beyond just looking at this extension but i'm just showing you a product research way for the sake of this video okay so here we go again i'm looking at the monthly revenue and i'm already impressed it looks really stable the price looks really great and the reviews are low again this is why you watch my channel is this why you watch my channel this should be why you watch my channel this is a second potential winning product and i've been on here for like two minutes you're welcome you are welcome and this is just the first thing i typed in so let's keep going bill organizer what is that what is a bill organizer oh it looks like a calendar or something i don't know this seems generic i'm not into it but let's just keep going so that's two products right so you want to just keep on going down and clicking on these types of words and explore it for several categories this is this particular category of teaching supplies so let's open this but then for example you are looking for office products or pet supplies just super generic things or if you even have a niche thing something more niche like um pink dog coat i don't know you put that in and you see what comes up related and then you basically rinse and repeat and continue doing this and oh my gosh it's crazy it's actually crazy the the things that could happen here let's look at the monthly revenue it's looking quite lovely if you if i may ask um very stable very high prices in a great range and then the reviews are the reviews are not as good as the rest however you could still potentially compete uh, you want to look at it as a whole right so some are doing well 35 with 16,000. this person has 116 with 13,000. um Everyone, they're still a little bit high. I would be a little bit apprehensive of this market because I've, you've seen there are other two that have lower reviews that you can have potential success in. But this right here is still quite a, 
I mean, I wouldn't personally go into this, but it just shows that literally the third product is still a medium, um, more like medium competition and you may or may not still be successful in it if you really study it. But I just don't like the higher reviews. The other two I like better. So this is a really, really great way to do product research. Try this out and let me know. Um, all the links are down below. I have a course. I have one-on-one -on -one mentorship if you need one-on-one -on -one individual help with Zoom calls. I have a Facebook group, an Instagram account, everything. I do daily videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.